demolition crews have set off explosives to bring down the damaged remaining portion of a collapsed South Florida condo. The demolition Sunday night was key to resuming the search for victims of the June 24 collapse and is even expected to open new areas for rescue teams to work in search efforts had been suspended Saturday to allow demolition workers to drill holes for the explosives needed to bring the damaged surfside building down. We are ready to go in, no matter the time of night. Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levencava told a news conference earlier Sunday night. Officials first announced plans to bring the partially collapsed building down at the news conference on Saturday morning. Levencava issued a state of emergency Saturday for Tropical Storm Belsa and made the dramatic decision to sign an emergency order to raise the building before the storm hits the area. In terms of the demolition, Officials were told Friday evening that it would take weeks to safely tear down the remaining structure, but Cavett said Saturday morning that the Maryland-based demolition company Controlled Demolition Incorporated Levin Cavett said that should bring the building down in place, containing the collapse to the immediate surroundings so as to minimally disturb the existing mound of debris, where scores of people are believed to be trapped. Levin Cavett said they work fast. Their engineers have studied the scene Saturday and said they could demolish the building before the storm impacts southeast Florida. While the Caribbean islands are expected to be hit hardest, Florida officials fear the storm's gusts would knock down the remaining structure in a direction we don't want it to go, Surfside Mayor Charles Burkett said.